Right, second release of the day, Star Shaman. Um, I, I, I don't really know what is it. It seems like, from what I've seen uh, from the trailer, or like, very glanced over that, roguelike kind of adventure something. Not... I don't really have any information about this, so we're just gonna pretty much go into it like, uh, very clean. <laughs> Uh, but like the trailer <laughs> had some acrobatics, like I'm not gonna jump on my bed, okay? <laughs> and I'm not gonna do like headstands, uh, but it seemed cool, but there... For survival beyond our tired earth blossomed when mankind learned to sail the solar winds. Until the architects of entropy seized power and imposed their agenda to correct the universe. Uh -huh. They traveled throughout the galaxies terraforming solar systems into lifeless gardens of geometrical perfection. <laughs> okay. The only unknown that could foil their grand plan was life. Life is spontaneous. Life is stubborn. And so the architects of entropy outlawed all new life forms and banished their defenders. But you know this. You're a star shaman. You're a champion of galactic biodiversity. You've traveled here to Lunar Groves at great risk and peril to put an end to their madness. Hmm. Lord and outnumbered, we have shone brightly in many battles. But we've been losing the war until now. Behold the astral teleporter. A revolution in Shaman's <laughs> Okay. We now have the mystic technology to project our astral form and channel our consciousness to distant planets. We can go to any solar system in the universe where the architects of entropy have perverted its evolutionary path. Use your shamanic powers and liberate biomes, bringing life to a lifeless universe. The astral teleport nice. is our chance to reverse the tide in this war. The architects of entropy will curse us, claiming that we defy all their perpetual perfection in the name of selfish amusement. <laughs> They've never understood our mantra. Having fun is what life is all about. This is such a unique but really cool concept. I'm like... Whoa! <laughs> Reaching this shaman sphere with the dominant hand. This can equip it at expose. Grab and hold the crystal. Reach the shaman sphere with your. Oh. What? Whoa! Holy hell! <laughs> The pre s people that are responsible for the presentation and like the intro are like geniuses. This is so cool. Okay, vibrations to English. Uh, nice. Let's just play our new game. I mean, I guess play. Wow, like this is kind of trippy. <laughs> We proved that the astral teleport actually works. What the? <laughs> hey! Oh shit. Uh oh. <laughs> no, no, not to me! Dodge shaman, like your astral depend on it. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that really flies fast. <laughs> okay. Shaman sphere. 
Cut. <laughs> Gimme. Primary tool, highly advanced astral combat spellcast interface. Pop each battle of the constellation. Now aim and fire. Huh. On your left, it's been frozen. Sponge spell. What the? <laughs> Liberated the element. Crunch those obelites. Uh oh. Fuck. <laughs> Is this like a turn based kind of game? Because I don't know when I should shoot. I oh, know, I can just shoot like that. Oh, okay, so I just cast whenever I wanna. Holy hell! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so we are liberating kind of the areas that we fight with the oblates. Jesus Christ, the art design of this game. It's something that I've never seen in VR. Okay, so it seems like it's kind of a combat kind of based game with spell castings and dodging kind of things. Oh shit. Uh, huh. I don't really care kind of for the storyline for, for some reason. If it would have like kind of a, a voice acting or something, and I wouldn't have to read? That would be fun. I see you have collected enough nitrogen to repair the Akabili st stone. Sponge the sha sa <laughs> It's complicated words. Alright, okay, sponge. But to where? There? Liberate other ones to gather the missing elements. Reach the shine sphere. There are elements you need to repair the Kabili stones. On top of them are your bio stacks, which you can trade for spells on at Kabili Reinquiries. The bar on the left indicates the overall difficulty. Okay, so we're going there, I guess. It's like a lot of going on. I want to have like second phase of the combat, kind of. Okay, I don't care for the storyline at all. Right now, at least. Okay, sure. It's a lot of talking. Shield. Durability. Intercept projectors. Beam jolt. Damage up. Uh, I'm confused what's happening, okay. So we have to collect those stones in order to like repair this stone or whatever so for example we need one green and the green should be here and as well this blue one okay so let's go here i'm trying to grasp what's happening <laughs> so we we'll, we are liberating biomes here we go Whoa! I 
Ajá, uh -huh, ok. <laughs> Give me the spell. I have to like look at the sign when I'm uh, trying to grab the spell. <laughs> now. Okay, like that. Shit, I have this cable on the... Oh, wow, <laughs> those are different enemies. Oh shit, those are like bombs. Okay. Liberated. Okay. Okay, so that's how it works. Liberating the bions and yeah, we're collecting resources. What is what about the places that have no resources? So like for example this. Is it just like we're gonna fight and that's it? We're not gonna get anything? I know, that's the place we've been. Got it, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one now. Slowly, slowly, I'm kinda grasping the concept of the game. Basically dodging and just casting spells. What the hell? I guess that was heal or something. Uh-uh. Shit! <sighs> For some reason, sometimes this uh, sphere does not connect. Okay, I got it. this cable. I'll have to demon this. Bam. Okay. A <laughs> flank mushroom, okay. So this seems like the core gameplay. Um, I'm assuming we're gonna have like more spells uh, when we kind of unlock further biomes or like repair uh, like other things. Okay, this is something new. <laughs> okay, uh, I want more spells. Kabili running. Oh, yeah, it's here. Because we chose, like, I think shield, but we didn't equip it actually. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, we have, like, this DNA. Astral charges. Astral life slot. Okay, this is a lot. This is definitely a lot that I have to like kind of process and know what's happening. Uh, but this seems very cool concept. It's essentially something alongside with, I think, space trainer. Yeah, space pirate trainer. Basically, you have kind of like things that shoot you, and you need to kind of like destroy them as well. But to, besides the like, you know weaponry as a pistol or something, we have spell castings, which is kind of a unique concept and take on it. And I definitely like this. I definitely have to really kind of pay attention to what's happening because there's a lot. Uh, but that's definitely a 
unique concept. So maybe I'm gonna play it more. I just have to take my time with this, not like just rushing with a review like today. So we'll see about that.